December, $95,000 spent. January, $83,000 spent. February, $60,000 spent. March, $50,000 spent. April, $42,000 spent. What I'm showing you is one of our clients' account that we've helped scale their brand. We've helped them pick a product, uh, start the brand, um, scale the product. And as you guys can see, we spent plenty of money for Facebook ads for them. And honestly, we spent over a million on this ad account, but because of, there's so many campaigns here, it ha is having a hard time load. Uh, because of that, I'm just gonna show you guys two months history and the purchase and the conversion and everything. Um, and it's not gonna load. Mm, great. Just so you guys can see, for purchase RAS for one of the months is 3.82. Uh, I can't actually, for some reason, because there's so many campaigns here, I can't uh, load all of them. It kind of crashes. So I'm just going to show you one of the months. 3.82 um, ROAS return on ad spend, if you don't know what that is. And there was about 2,444 purchases. So this is very profitable and very, it's, it's, and it was scaled pretty good just with one product. Now in this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys every step you need to set up your own Facebook ads, what do you need to do, and every strategies that I've been using with our own Facebook ads with our students and our clients to get these kind of numbers. So if you wanna know, if you want to get results like this, keep watching. What's up, beautiful people? It's Naz here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since we've talked about Facebook ads. And the reason why I haven't talked about it is because for a while, people were getting shut down. But for now, it's been pretty consistent. And if any of you guys need agency accounts, just hit me up on my Instagram. I'll hook you up. But for now, let's get into this subject. Uh, let's talk about the most updated Facebook ad strategy for 2024. Let's talk about it. Um, there's a lot of updates and changes since I last made a video in 2021, probably I would assume. So make sure you stay till the end of this video. If you want to learn all the tips and tricks and how you can set up your own Facebook ads for your own dropshipping products. And I'm going to talk about pretty much everything. I want to show you how to set up your ads. I'm going to show you exactly how your settings should should look like how we test our products and how we scale our products to get results like this okay let's get into it the first thing first one of the updates with Facebook ad is advantage uh, shopping which basically maximizes a performance and reach valuable audience with simplified setup well this is the first thing you get whenever you go to create an ad uh, on Facebook which I'm gonna show you shortly or you could do manual. What I like to do, I actually like to do manual, but honestly, I noticed that it doesn't make any difference. Whenever you're testing, this is specifically for testing. So let's say you found a product, you have your creatives, you're about to test a product. How do we set up the ads? This is how we're gonna do it, okay? This is how we're gonna set up our ads. I'm gonna tell you exactly what we're gonna do. You have the product picked, you have multiple creatives that you wanna test. Uh, what I like to do, I like to have one campaign for each product, and I like to set up uh, four, five uh, ad sets, and then I would like to have at least four videos or creatives for uh, for the pro for each product that I'm testing. The reason is you never know which creative is gonna be a winning creative. It's not necessarily about winning product, it's about winning creatives. So that's how I like to set them up. Then we're gonna have the performance goal, which I like to, uh, we, we like to, uh, right off the bat, we're gonna maximize for purchase conversion. And then we're gonna have dynamic creatives. I like to turn that on. And then what what will your daily budget would be, what your daily budget would, what, what people, are, a lot of people ask what your daily budget should be with Facebook is all I I do believe that Facebook is supposed to be a little bit more mature audience. So I like to assume that it's also a little bit more expensive. So you have to spend a little bit more money to find out if the product is winning or not. So I would say 24 to $40 for each ad set. And then we're going to do the location in US and Canada based on experience. I've been running ads since 2016. US and Canada are always going to have the most sales. So we're going to test in US and Canada. Gender, keep it open age open. I also learned that Facebook Facebook feed tend to perform better for us. So you could do also the real size. I forgot what measurement it is. I put it right somewhere here. But I uh, but in our case, I, I learned that the feed actually performs still much better. So the old school Facebook feed, specifically the size, uh, it just tends to do so much better. CPM is lower. Uh, the clicks are lower. Um, the performance is better. So that's what I recommend you guys also do. 
Now let's get into Facebook and let's set up some ads. I'm going to walk you through exactly step by step how to set up ads from the beginning till the end. Okay. Let's go. Let's get into it. All right. So whenever you get to Facebook, you just gonna, whenever you made, you created your face, you're going to go to ads.facebook.com. You're going to go create a, create an ad account and it's going to look like, look something like this. Okay. So this is a typical Facebook, you know, how it looks like, and you're going to go ahead and press create, and you're going to have awareness, traffic, engagement, leads, app promotion, sales, since we're dropshipping, we're going to pick sales and we're going to click continue. Now, right here, we're going to have two options. So you have advantage shopping campaign and you have manual sales campaign. I'm going to go ahead and say, just do manual sales campaign. I like to have control over my um, campaign. So I'm just going to do manual. Honestly, it doesn't make that much of a difference. We, we tested both. It doesn't make a crazy amount of difference. So I'm just going to do manual. We're going to name this. So let's say it's a baby bed. Okay. And I like to number my products when I'm testing them. So let's say number one, right? And then we're going to scroll down. Um, don't worry about this. We're going to scroll down and this is all good. So I, we don't do campaign budget uh, optimization when we're testing, but with scaling, we always scale with campaign budget optimization, which is CBO, which I get into later. We're going to go next and right here, we're going to go uh, pick website. We're going to go pick performance goal. We're always going to pick maximize number of conversions. We're going to pick a pixel that already connected. If you don't know how to pick up the uh, to connect the pixel, just YouTube it. It's pretty simple. And then we're going to always, always, we're going to um, optimize for purchase conversion. Uh, I like to turn this on. Um, you don't have to, but you, you know, I, I think you get some advantage. Basically what it's supposed to do is supposed to kind of split test images, headlines, little different things to see which one performs better and optimize it for that thing. Now, like I said, we're going to do $25 or $40, depending on what your product cost is. The higher your product cost is, you want your product budget to be a little bit higher. Now, uh, I like to do midnight. And the reason I like to set up the ads for midnight is because you get 24 hours for your ads to optimize till next day. So if you set up, let's say if you set up your ads at 6 p.m., right? Like, let's say right now, 6, 6, whatever, you have till midnight till your money is spent. So like you have six hours and your money will spend within six hours. So we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we're giving it enough time for your ad budget to optimize. So always set up your ads for midnight and then give it the full 24 hours to optimize. So we're going to do that. So, um, zero, zero AM. I always get confused because with TikTok is like zero, zero. Cause you know, the time is a little different, different countries. Um, and then location, like I said, we're going to do us in Canada. And then for the placement, you can just leave it like this. Um, and this is fine too. And we're going to go next. Let's pick a video. I want to see if it's a... all right. A lot of you guys know that for a while I was selling this, um, perfume. So I'm going to go ahead and just like submit this old video, but I'm, I'm just using it as an example for you guys, because I want to write the primary text for it. So we're going to go to the primary text. What I like about this is that it creates the text for you. So like, let's say, um, getting my boyfriend's reaction to my new perfume. Why is it not creating it? It always does. <laughs> Why is it not? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> it always does. Okay, we're gonna go to chat GPT. Write a script. Uh, I just used ChatGPT and wrote this, ready to turn some heads wherever you go. Our pheromone perfume boosts your confidence and charm effort effortlessly. Whether you're out with your friends or on a hot date or stealing the deal of work, it's it's our secret weapon uh, for an unforgettable moment. Try it and now see the magic happen. So I never write like text like this if it was TikTok ads or Snapchat ads because it's just it's such younger audience is just such a different marketing when it comes to it. Right. But with Facebook, it's completely different with Facebook. I like to write stuff like this a little bit more formal, a little bit more serious, a little bit longer. The audience is a little bit older. Like it's still a little bit older type of 
marketing even though things have changed and with this video i um i submitted the real size is not the feed size and it's okay you can always crop it on facebook and uh, but you just gotta make sure that it fits better so you can always go inside and just crop it a little bit so let's go edit the video you could go and like so let's say it's or original and you can also do a recommended so you can also like let's say you don't want the text in there you can always go like do it like this just just use it that that way and then apl apply and continue and then you can go on thumbnails and then the video is processing so one thing i like about facebook is like if you even if you have different size videos you can go ahead in there and then change the sizing and just just apply it like that in there so once that's done you go and save it and then you're done with your video and you go ahead and publish it after you publish the video what i want you to do you go to ad sets and you go to duplicate and you're going to go ahead and duplicate the ad four times so you might be wondering why are we duplicating these ads that are the same exact thing why are we doing that and uh, we're not necessarily doing the same thing because it every time you duplicate it your budget is first of all is not big enough to be interfering with each other we're choosing different pockets of audience the pop you know different population so my two ads might be two ad sets might be doing better than the other ad sets because it just found a better population of people better audience of people let's say if you had four creatives you're going to go ahead and add the four creatives inside uh all of the ads ad sets it's pretty easy you're just going to add it instead of adding one creative you just add four of the creatives inside each ad set and you run it all right let's talk about the numbers that we're looking for so let's go back to uh these numbers ninety five thousand dollars spent so this is one of the good months that was doing really well okay just keep in mind this product was a little bit more expensive so all the numbers are going to be a little bit higher but these are but in every product that you're running these are the things that like they're gonna have in common uh what, what i want you to look for is cpc always gonna be under one dollar in this case with facebook i like to look for cost per unique link click so that's when they look click on your website so i'm, I'm looking for under a dollar if it's over let's say two dollars that's not a good sign that's probably people are not interested in your product people are not interested in your ads i would go ahead and kill it so let's say you spend 10 20 dollars 30 dollars is getting three dollar cost per per, uh, per click then i would go ahead and kill that ad uh cpm cost per thousand impression i'm always looking for under fifteen dollars twenty dollars with facebook honestly uh and if it's like you see 30 40 dollars that's not a good sign i would go ahead and honestly i would assume that it's oversaturated uh, another thing that i look for is uh like ctr i like to look for anything over one percent as a good sign um that means people are interested people are clicking but if you see like 0.3 percent that's not a good sign so these are the things that i want you to look for so let's say you spend 20 30 40 dollars and your clicks are 20 cents so your cost per unique link click is 20 cents your cpm is like eight dollars that's a really good sign honestly at that point i'm gonna be watching the add to carts but uh usually usually when you have a winning product your cost per add to cart gonna be about three to five dollars if your product cost is like under hundred dollars so that these are the signs that i'm looking for and then after that of course you're looking for sales so the next thing you're looking for are you getting sales are you being profitable if you want me to personally help you find a winning product scale your business uh help you with ads teach you everything and in, in ins and outs of ads i do have a coaching program go ahead and dm me coaching on my econ playbook instagram uh, i'll ask you a couple questions to see where you add with your business to see if we're a match to work together and then we'll go from there i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want me to make more videos like this let me know in the comment down below what kind of videos you want me to make and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys on the next video